In our second episode, we will be talking about economics of scale and how this principle defines the cost of your Azure services. Stay tuned. For the second episode, let's start with learning objectives. The goal of this episode is to help you to understand the principles of economies of scale and how this principle explains the cost of Azure services. And to explain that principle, I will use a simplified example using a delivery company that delivers a packages to its customers. When you start your own company, you usually start at very small scale. For instance, by purchasing free delivery trucks. When you do that, you will need to first of all buy them. And since the company is very small and you're just starting, you will most likely make individual purchase for each of those cars. Let's imagine you pay $10,000 for each. Regardless if those cars are used or not, you will need to spend some money on the maintenance of those cars. Because your company is very small, you cannot make any contracts. So you will need to pay individually for each repair, each maintenance that you need to perform on your own cars. Each car of course needs to be insured, so that's additional cost that you need to make individually. And as you can imagine, there will be plenty of other costs that you will need to incur when running your own company. Based on the cost that you need to incur and the amount of the customers that you have, you will need to calculate the price of your service in order to stay profitable and stay on the market. That price is called price per unit. So a price that you need to charge for the delivery of your package for your company to stay profitable. So let me explain to you what happens if your company grows in size. If your scale will go from three cars to, for instance, 300, because your company is already big, you might be able to buy your cars in bulk from the dealership at a discounted price. Instead of buying them for 10,000, maybe buy them for nine. Again, for maintenance, you will be able to sign some contract with some car repair shop. Again, lowering the price of the maintenance required for your cars. Same goes for insurance, because you can buy insurance in bulk. And if you have some shared services, maybe hire some additional staff to maintain your company, you will be also able to reduce price per car that is required to maintain your company. Because the scale of your company is much greater than before, you are now able to handle many more customers without sacrificing the quality of your service, allowing you to lower the price per unit. So you get more benefits internally by having large company, you are more efficient operationally, and you can share those benefits with your customers by reducing the price per unit. In this case, this will also make your company much more competitive on the market making sure that you grow even further. So to quickly summarize, as your company grows, your price per unit lowers because companies are getting more efficient at what they're doing. If you have a small company, your price per unit will be quite high. If you have medium company, your price per unit will be better, but still at quite medium range. And if you have very large companies, your price will be quite low and very competitive on the market. And this principle perfectly describes what is happening with the cloud. As the cloud grows and it has more customers, the price of their services will go down. Because big companies like Microsoft will get more efficient at what they do. In case of Microsoft, they will get more efficient at building new data centers, getting better prices for the hardware. There of course will be hardware advancements which will again lower the price. And when this happens and Microsoft wants to stay competitive, the prices of the services that it offers will also go down. And that's really it. This is how economies of scale work and how they drive the cost of your Azure services. For this episode, again, go to my website to episode two, check out the study cheat sheet and maybe take a practice test. And that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what I do, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting or sharing this to your friends. If you want to see the next episode, simply follow the playlist or hit the icon on the side and see you there.